guys, Fun Tantini here, and today I'm going to be giving you my Spider-Man No Way Home reviews. Spoiler free, so no spoilers. So, according to the trailer and everything you've seen, this is not a spoiler. The movie picks up where it left off from Far From Home. And, like, i got to be honest, I just love what they did with this movie. It was great work what they did. I thought it was really, really good. The detail, the effects, and all that, like, superhero stuff. Honestly, it's a, it's a big one for me to say this, but I would rather watch Spider-Man No Way Home than watch Avengers Endgame, to be honest. It was that good. I really recommend you see this movie. It, it was one of the greatest Spider-Mans ever. Like, you know, it had so much good detail and effects and all the villains and, like, Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Electro, all of them. It was just so cool to see that, like, that era of Spider-Man come back into theaters for the first time. Seeing Electro since 2014, Lizard since 2012, Sandman since 2007, Doc Ock since 2004, and Green Goblin since 2002. So it's been nice, it's been very nice to come back to all my favourite characters. Because I remember growing up with Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, and here I am, seven years later, watching Spider-Man No Way Home. Trying to relive that moment, because villains from his universe... Villains from Sam Raimi's. It's just very nice to come back. Recommend Spider-Man No Way Home. 80, not 99, 100%.